So if you're hoping for larger batteries with iPhone 16, I have great news for you. Kinda. Let me explain. Courtesy of Twitter leaker Majinbu, we have early details on the battery capacities for iPhone 16. This is probably the number one report I actually care about every year because, I'll be honest, the iPhone has peaked in so many ways, except battery life. There was a time where Apple ruled the roost with the iPhone 13 Pro Max destroying every Android phone on the market, but surprisingly there's not been many improvements since then, and if anything it's got slightly worse with the introduction of features like the always on display, so I was pumped for this report, and there are some interesting details. Now he doesn't mention the regular Pro for whatever reason, but anyways, here's everything you need to know about the rest of the range. Beginning with the bog standard iPhone 16, this will get a 3561 million power battery allegedly, and obviously these numbers are pointless without some sort of comparison, and so for those curious, the 15 right now has a 3000 349 million power batteries, so the 16 offers a respectable 6% improvement. Nice. Now you may be wondering, what does this mean for real life usage? How many more hours of endurance are we actually getting? Well, if we compare the jump from iPhone 12 to 13, which of course was the last major battery boost the iPhone got, the regular 13 had a near 15% increase in battery capacity over the 12, and that resulted in two and a half more hours of endurance, according to Apple's marketing. Now with the 16's battery being 6% bigger, I'm gonna guess endurance might only improve by one or one and a half hours, which isn't as impressive, though of course there is a chance the regular phones jumping to three nanometers with a brand new A18 chipset could help improve the endurance, but yeah, it won't be as big of an upgrade as the iPhone 13 was. And by the way, would like to remind you guys, like this video and subscribe for more content like this, it would be appreciated. Moving to the big boy, aka the iPhone 16 Pro Max, this allegedly is getting a 4,676 million power battery inside, which is 5% larger than the 15 Pro Max that has a 4,422 million power battery. So again, it's a sizable increase, and it should again result in one hour or one and a half hours of longer endurance. Of course, it's hard to measure endurance since everyone uses their phones so differently, so don't take these numbers too literally, but do note that we are allegedly getting bigger displays with the Pro phones, which could use up more battery life. There's also the new A18 Pro chipset, that could either be more efficient or more power hungry, so there are too many factors to make a precise prediction. But now let's get into the not so great news with this report because the iPhone 16 Plus allegedly is getting a smaller battery than the iPhone 15 Plus. Yes, you heard me right, I said smaller. Allegedly it's gonna be 4,006 million powers which is 9% smaller than the 4,383 million power battery in the iPhone 15 Plus, and that's pretty odd, but I can foresee a reason why Apple might do this, and that reason is money. You see, this year a lot of battery test reports, and even Apple in their marketings made it clear the 15 Plus offers the best endurance in the range, and so there's a possibility many consumers go for the plus over the more expensive Pro Max that has the juicier profit margins, and so Tim might want to change that. It's the same reason why I'm pretty sure the 15-inch MacBook Air did not get a substantial upgrade battery-wise, because if it offered all the benefits a 16-inch MacBook Pro had, a lot of consumers would just save their cash and get the 15-inch. At the end of the day, Apple's lineup is like a perfect ladder, and they want to slowly push you up and get you to justify buying the highest-end products, so butchering the 16 Plus's endurance on purpose just to get you to buy the 15 Pro Max is very feasible. Then again, you could argue the 15 Pro Max is doing pretty well sales-wise regardless. In fact, it's currently the best-selling iPhone, and the Plus isn't even on the top 10 list, so it seems people will still buy a shiny titanium iPhone even if it has worse endurance. But anyways, it does make a lot more sense to pay more and get better endurance, so there is a solid 90% chance Apple does screw over the Plus. Now the 16 Plus should still be respectable considering this will have a 60Hz panel, which of course is gonna piss off all the techies once again. But yeah, basically Apple wants to have this balance where the endurance on the Plus is good enough to justify getting it over the regular 16, but not so good you no longer wanna get the Pro Max, Heck, I'll be honest, if the regular phones had a macro lens, I would absolutely go and buy a Plus because I do prioritize battery life 
And well, Apple does not want you thinking like that. I will say, however, that it's very much early days during the iPhone 16 rumor cycle and things can change. I even remember last year some early reports suggesting the 15 series would have a major upgrade battery-wise, but that wasn't really the case. And so it goes without saying, guys, take everything with a grain of salt. I mean, I can easily see reports later claiming the iPhone 16 won't actually have a huge battery upgrade. And to be honest, a part of me does think Apple's holding back on major battery improvements just to get people to upgrade because that is the number one reason people upgrade to a new phone nowadays. I feel like my 14 Pro Max still does everything I need a phone to do, but of course, at 87% battery off, I am noticing it doesn't get through the day as easily anymore, so of course, that's gonna push me to buy an iPhone 16. So yes, it's very much possible Apple doesn't do anything regarding battery life, but I'm still waiting for the day we see a 5,000 million power battery inside an iPhone because the endurance would be ridiculous. By the way, you probably don't care about about this, but Mijinbu also does say with the iPhone 16, Apple's moving away from the L-shaped battery design and it's going to be a rectangular battery instead, but this really makes no difference to you guys. I'm guessing the smaller physical size of the battery is going to allow Apple to give us larger sensors on the smaller phones, especially since many have said the 16 Pro is going to get the much better 5x periscope lens we first saw with the 15 Pro Max. I remember there was also talk about stacked battery tech coming to iPhone, so maybe that's what they're using to reduce the actual footprint of the battery inside. Anyways, you're probably getting bored with all this battery life talk, so let me end this video with a small tidbit about the screen on iPhone 16, because apparently it's gonna get even curvier, which is worrying. I was fine with how the glass slightly wraps around the sides on iPhone 15, but it now might be even more exaggerated with the 16 series, which I'm not looking forward to, because it could affect compatibility with screen guards. As someone who's had a, and it revolts me to say this, but a, Galaxy S7 Edge, oh, Android. Anyways, that phone had a display so curvy it was impossible to use screen protectors. And so eventually I just gave up and used it without a screen protector. And guess what, guys? It got scratched up and I hated it. And so ultimately, flat is the way to go when it comes to displays. Even Samsung, who of course loved their curved displays back in the day, has completely ditched it with the S24 series. So it's weird Apple's now going in the other direction. Hopefully this rumor is wrong. Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. And thank you for watching.